Evening everyone, we're back with another beer review now. Uh, it's one that I picked up, well it's not just one, I picked a whole box of German lagers and pilsners up from Beer Wolf. 12 bottles in there, 35 99 free delivery. It's a three pound a bottle, some of them are 500 mil, a lot of them are 330 mil. I don't think that's too excessive, I can live with that. So, what we've got coming up is a bottle of Superfreund Pils, and it's coming in at 4.8% in a 330ml bottle. Now, it's brewed at the Wagnerbrau in Kemen, Bamberg. Uh, I've never heard of anything of this before, so it'll be quite interesting to try. Hopefully, all these German beers that I picked up are going to be something a little bit different. I'm guessing they're more along the craft range, judging by the branding. It's not your traditional sort of German branding. Plain black bottle cap. So, I've got to go over there and get me bottle opener because I didn't even think about that. So here we are. Let's get this beer out into a glass. Give it a sniff. Give it a taste. And hopefully at the end of it, say what a belt in Pilsner that was. Hope you're all good. I had a bit of a half day today, but I'm back on it tomorrow. Bit of wallpapering to do for somebody. So, uh, yeah. Just relaxed and chilled a bit this afternoon. So I don't think I'm going to quite get it all in there with a the head on there. But we'll get the rest in there afterwards. Now, for me, that is a beautiful looking, beautiful looking beer. I mean, extremely busy on the carbonation. That is absolutely wild. It's a lovely sort of hazy lemon colour. Quite a spacious two finger of white head. But I like the look of that. Maybe the carbonation, you might, you might be thinking, Jesus Christ, that's a bit wild. Hopefully, it's not going to be uh, going nuts in your mouth when you drink it. Well, I can see the head there just getting bigger and bigger. So before it gets too big, let's dive in on the nose, if I can. And let's see what we can get out of it. Ooh, big sort of citrus. Huge citrus, orange, lime, lemon thing going on. That's all I can get as well. It, it's there is a little bit of hop aroma in there. It's it's got it's got the feel more of an IPA on the nose at the moment. But nothing nasty in there. Just huge citrus notes. And that's all I'm getting. So uh, let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Let's hope it's a good one. Mm. Not what I expected, I'll be honest with you. Not what I expected. For me... I'll say straight up now, for me, this is, this is, it's just IPA for me. It's, it's coming across as IPA. We'll go in again. A light body like an IPA, sort of like, you know, the sort of session IPAs you can pick up in supermarkets, you know. I don't know, how can I put it? The sort of four and a half percent sort of IPAs. The body's light like that. That carbonation that you're seeing in there that is quite wild, you are picking up in the mouth. It's not one of them that looks busy but just doesn't really do anything in the mouth. This is still quite busy in your mouth. I mean, the beer is quite soft. Mouth feels, for me, isn't particularly, well, it's not bad, you know, don't get me wrong, it's not bad. But expected more. Expected more. We've got a bit more sediment in there now, so it has hazed up that little bit more. Taste-wise, hops. Yeah, hoppy. There's almost a spicy feel to it, a spicy side to it. Almost wheat beer like as well. So for me, there's not really 
excuse me, Jesus, that's how gassy it is. For me, it's calling it a Pilsner, but it's chucking, it's chucking an IPA at you. It's chucking elements of a wheat beer at you. Yeah, that just, uh, it's just, you're getting them sort of fruity notes that you get with a pale ale IPA in there. You're getting that hoppiness of an IPA stroke pale ale in there. It is quite bitter, but it's IPA bitter. It's not a Pilsner bitter for me on the back there. Uh, I've got to say, I was looking at the bottle when it first turned up and I saw that. I had high hopes for this one. I was really hoping I would like it. But it doesn't do it for me. It really doesn't. In my opinion, it's not a Pilsner. It doesn't cut the mustard as a Pilsner. And it's very much run-of-the-mill, supermarket, fodder, IPA, pale ale kind of thing going on. It's not particularly... There's nothing nasty in there. It's nothing horrible there's nothing mean or but it for me it's just not that it's not the style it's telling me it's going to be and the fact that it's from germany i have an expectation of german beers i expect them to be damn good it's a nice beer don't get me wrong but it's not what i what i've bought and what i was expecting so uh super freund Pilsner coming in at 4.8% for me is a letdown uh, doesn't do what it says it's going to do as a beer it's nice enough but if you're a lager drinker or a Pilsner drinker and you're expecting a, a Pils don't expect it because you ain't getting it you're going to be you're going to be greeted with more of an IPA and a pale ale there for me so a little bit disappointing in the sense that it's not what it was but uh that's my views on it. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching. I do apologise for rambling on. I hope you've enjoyed the re review. Feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you again soon on another beer review. Cheers.